Capricorn, welcome back to this that Tarot. Sorry for the noise, that's my washing machine. I gotta get ready to go again. Capricorn, short messages. Uh, many of you may be in the music industry, jazz in particular, or you may be close to someone who is. I feel like a lot of you may be feeling like something ain't over between you and someone, but you keep getting turned down by this person or vice versa. Somebody may feel like things aren't over. Like, y'all got unfinished business, but if you would stop rejecting me, we could get to it. Something like that. Capricorn, I feel like there's somebody. For, I may be talking to a man. I could be talking to a woman, too. Don't matter. Whatever you're into. Um, They're traveling or they're moving or you're traveling or moving. Something has changed about the person that you're closest to or that you're dating. It could be that this person has chosen to walk away and just kind of not reconnect. It's how you may be feeling or this is you. There could be a Leo or a Sagittarius involved or this person has, um, I feel like you've been longing for this person. One of y'all been longing for each other. It could be both of you, honestly. But I'm picking up on a feminine energy who has found her place in the world or something like that. It's like, she's like, uh, you know how you know something, you learn something, and then you look back and you're like, damn, I can't go back to that because now I know. There's something like that. It's like they've healed in some way, which has made them, I feel like they're overcoming some emotional things or whatever happened between the two of you. So I see a change happening. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. I'm on Sagittarius. I'm on Capricorn. There could be a cycle that has ended with a fire sign as well, a masculine energy. Possibly a fire sign. Maybe they have ended something with somebody else. Is this what we were talking about all this time? So they broke up. I feel like this person is kind of ready to, um, let's see. I feel like they were very, they feel better now after some kind of, after something that they went through that broke their heart. They question if they're going to get their heart broken again. You may have tried to go back to an ex in the past, from your past, and it, it didn't quite hit like this person. And this person, I feel like the main person on your mind is choosing to end a lot of either friendships, love relationships. So this could have been just like a dating thing. And this person is kind of choosing to switch up their whole, ooh, I'm hearing Rasta, okay? Could be you or another person. I feel like in the past, somebody could have been like one of those, I don't know, could be a public figure, musician. Whatever keeps them in the public eye. And they're big on PDA. Somebody was like, you know, they taking pictures with everybody. Like, they call everybody, baby. So, I'm not sure who's special to this person. Or that could have been you. Um, they could be in the public eye, but they're actually, in real life, they're a loner. It could be that, too. And they feel like there's something that they haven't moved on from that hurt them. And it could have something to do with a fire sign who was unfaithful. Somebody is single now, perhaps, because they found out. Um, they could be moving on from something that's very confusing. This person is single now. They may have dropped some sort of thief out of their life. There could be somebody who ha is has sticky fingers. <laughs> okay. Or who is still in their energy, their time, whatever. Their confidence. This person is focused on something new. They're not focused on re-engaging with someone. I feel like they're two different people, though. That this person may be disengaging with. Or it could be you. This is somebody who's not trying to... This is somebody who's more focused on work. It's almost like if I can turn him down, I can turn you down, too. Somebody's saying that. 
in this equation. I don't know who. It's like, I turned down this big love connection that I had with somebody. And I made peace with the trust issues that were developed in that connection. It just didn't work out. And now I'm kind of looking at this other player type of energy or like Casanova. Maybe it's more sexual than anything. And they're like, I don't know if I want to move on that either. I just want to let go of all the heartbreak, right? This could be what happened in the past. If you were to stick around, Capricorn or Cross Watcher, whoever this is for, I'm hearing somebody's going to leave the door open. It's like, I'm going to leave the door open, so... You know, if you were to stick around, you may have noticed a lot of nervous energy from this person, or maybe there's like an impulsivity attached to this person's energy, like a ran. I don't know. Somebody could be nervous, impulsive type of energy, and it seems like their focus is always elsewhere. I wouldn't worry about it, Capricorn. I wouldn't get attached to this energy. I don't feel like it would... I, I feel like you would, it would prove to be too on and off. It's like, I like this person, but I don't think I'm going to invest my heart in this person. Their impulsive, shaky ways, I feel like, um, is due to them healing from a heartbreak elsewhere. That's what I really feel like is going on. So if you were to stick around, it's kind of like... If you're willing to kind of bear with this person, then they're healing from something else. That's what this looks like. So advice for Capricorn. It's the Queen of Wands. I feel like this person has a lot of responsibility. Um, something about this person feeling better nothing moves forward or nothing becomes consistent until they feel better it could be a waiting game with this person before there's an actual reconciliation i wouldn't want to be this person's rebound something like that and with this other queen it's kind of like they may already be they may feel like they okay so if i'm talking to a masculine energy and he's got let's say a fire sign and an air sign he got to make shit right with the air sign, which I feel like is the ex. But the one he actually wants, the one he wants is unavailable to him. And the one that wants him, he's unavailable to her. So what's the, <laughs> what's the advice for the masculine? Give to the one you love. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. For some of you, that is a water sign or a fire sign, I feel. This person is dealing with heartbreak and trust issues, though, so I don't know. I feel like this is more to let you know what it is that you're working with, and you decide from there how you want to handle that. I wouldn't wait, though. I w if I did wait on this energy, I would wait until it got better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Until it was a until it made sense for you, you know what I mean? Because right now there's too much going on in the energy. Some of y'all don't think about tomorrow or somebody's not thinking about the future, you know what I mean? Be careful of like empty promises, empty words. It's like somebody's not thinking about the future and they're also not living in the now. So it's giving limbo. You know what I mean? Codependency, trust, and not wanting to hear what nobody got to say about it. I feel like is what's going on in someone's love life or within their relationships. It's like, I'm not living in the now. Um, I'm not really thinking or planning for the future, but I become codependent in these relationships because maybe there's a lack of trust going on within someone, within someone's own self. And it's like they almost have their ears shut to any kind of um, advice in that regard. So that's a lot to work with. <laughs> Got a little stubborn one, okay? So, Capricorn, your own star guides you as a good sign when it's shining bright. 
but sorrow comes if the clouds drift near to hide it from your sight. Let me try that again. Your own star guides you as a good sign when it's shining bright. So I feel like this has something to do with you being in a high vibration. But sorrow comes if clouds drift near and hide it from your sight. So try to keep your thoughts pure, your <laughs> keep it light. Because I feel like there's a lot of heaviness going on. I wouldn't become, I would become detached from it all, to be honest with you. Because it doesn't seem like any of it's rubbing you the right way right now. And none of them seem to be rub, rubbing the right way right now either. But I'm going to leave it there. Let me know how this resonated for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.